Welcome to Darling Games, everyone. We are going to start a new island. So unfortunately in 2022, I had planned on starting an island, Daisy, and things just got in the way, plans fell through and it didn't happen. The place that I work at, we actually have something called a fiscal year as opposed to a regular calendar year. And our fiscal year is October 1st through September 30th each year. So what I thought would be kind of cool is to start a new island on October 1st. I'm thinking we're gonna play like a full year of Animal Crossing, see where we can get. Plan is, is to play it day by day and record what I'm doing on the island. Good morning, we're so excited to have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Yes, it is. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, darling. Don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now let's start talking about your home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to. What I mean is we have islands in the Northern and summer he Southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, darling, where do you live now? North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay so far? Yes. Very good. We have a number of lovely island, uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether or not you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's what I do. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose what best one for your home. All right. We're going to go ahead and go with this one because we've got like a little area. It looks like a ghost from like um, Pac-Man, one of the Pac-Man ghosts over at the left side. And it's got a couple of areas in the back that I feel like will look, be like good sizes for the villager houses. Unfortunately, there's not a pond like right in the main area, but that's okay. I feel like the resident services is far enough back from the airport. So now let's just go to the island and make sure that it's what we're wanting. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring only one thing with you on the desert island, a deserted island, what would it be? I'm going to say some food. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Ooh, we got apples. Apples is what I had on my very first island. I do actually really like the apple stuff though. So I'm not mad at it. Let's see what color airport we get. The green airport. Okay. I'm not opposed to it. We're here. Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving the presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move us. If you'd like to move, follow us. Okay, so I'm not real fond of who I have. Let's see, I have Flip, and then we have... What's her name? She's running away from us. Phoebe. Okay, so we have Flip and Phoebe. Let's see what our flowers are on this island. If we can see them anywhere. Might not be able to tell what flowers I have. Okay, I can kind of see from here. What does it look like? Oh, I can't tell. I want to say it kind of looks like lilies, but I can't, really cannot tell. And I cannot see any flowers back that way. We might not be able to tell what kind of flowers we have on this island. Oh, let's go back here. Maybe we can back here. <gasps> we have Cosmos. No way. My very first island had apples and Cosmos. I just had an orange airport. I'm so excited. Okay, we're definitely keeping this island. This is a good move. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. I have not been able to get Cosmos on another island since my very first one. All right, here we go. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. All right, let us grab our tent from Tommy here. So we got a tent, awesome. And we're just gonna go place it on the beach. And he's given us a map too, amazing. All right, so let's just go find a beach spot to put our tent. Let's just try to do it like right here. Actually, let's go to the other side because that side we maybe can put 
the museum. The other side I think is going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, we got a spot right here. Yes, we're going to put our tent right in this spot. The reason I like to put it on the beach is just because it keeps it out of the way for all the stuff that I am going to end up wanting to decorate. And it doesn't cost that much to move the tent. So let's go grab the other's tents too. I thought I saw Phoebe over here. I did. So let's grab Phoebe's tent. All right, so we're going to place Phoebe's tent right here, right next to us on the beach. Now we've got Phoebe right next to us. Awesome. So let us go find, I don't remember the other villager's name. Yeah, Flip. And I almost said Flip, but I thought that wasn't right. Okay, so we're going to grab a tent from Flip too. He actually is kind of cute. All right, we're going to place Flip's tent right here. And we've got Flip and Phoebe right next to us. We're all done with that. So let's go back to the plaza. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started. Let's see. Timmy, Phoebe, Tommy, Flip can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Darling and I will work to gather firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, let's see what Tom has to say. Ah, oh, darling, I just wanted to go over what we need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press the Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like gr items growing on the trees. I suspect they're real apples. Well, we know what's going on here. So we're actually gonna get him some apples and some tree branches. I'm just going to shake this tree and get a few of the tree branches, hopefully. I'm quite glad to be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. Guess what, Tom? I already did. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of the island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. So take a little time to think. And when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. So I'm thinking even though we were not able to complete Daisy, the 2022 version of Daisy, I feel like we should still kind of stick with that. So Darling suggested Daisy. Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Daisy. Awesome. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Daisy. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from apples, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado, a toast to Daisy and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Okay, I think it's time for me to go to sleep and we're going to get this day moving on. So we're going to head into our tent and we're going to go to sleep for the night. Oh, we got a white, um, what do you call that, radio? And we got a gold light. Let's see what our sleeping bag color is or our camping cot, I should say. We have a green one. All right, time for bed, nighty night. Okay, so now we have just talked to Tom Nook and our new life is underway. From now on, the time it the island is going to match the flow of the time in the real world. Okay, so it is Saturday, August 1st, 11.40 a.m. Let's see what we got in our mailbox. We got something from Mom. We got something from Nintendo. All right, the first thing I'd like to do is talk to the villagers, if we can find them. Let's talk to Flip. Here's Phoebe, so let's have a chat with Phoebe so we can earn some Nook Miles. So we need to pay off our 5,000. And then what I like to do on my very first day on the island is just start collecting stuff. I know we need to sell some weeds, so we're going to go ahead and collect these weeds right here because we can sell those and we can get Nook Miles for them. Um, another couple of easy ways to get some Nook Miles is um, taking a photo. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so we've got a nice photo of ourselves. We can also change our passport to earn some Nook Miles. So we're going to... Um, comment add a short comment to your profile so we're just gonna say welcome and then we will also change our title to a to a horizon bound mama and then another easy way is to edit this custom design and we'll just go ahead and just edit one of the white squares. We're going to change the design and we're just gonna place like a color in it. That's all you have to do, done. We'll call it design pattern. We'll just leave it on that and confirm and that we edited that design. Okay, we'll continue kind of cleaning up here. I like to on the first day, just basically clean up like the whole plaza area that I have access to. Shake all the trees, be able to get some stuff down. We should have some acorns and things in the trees right now too. So maybe we'll get lucky and get some acorns. I do like to do all of these type items. Items. And maybe it'll go a little quicker if I just shake trees first and we might actually see there. Yep There's some acorns and we do we know we're gonna need some sticks So we'll just add a few extra shakes to the trees to try and get some sticks 
And then we'll just kind of go around and pick up everything at the same time. Oh, I got a wasp and I'm gonna get stung, but we need to get stung our first time in order to be able to pass out and then get Nook Miles. So we're gonna have to accept it. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, we got our first dropped item. What is it? A bathroom towel rack. So we're not actually gonna be able to place it, are we? No, we'll just drop it. Let's see what we have in here too, actually. Uh, DIY workbench, we can't do anything with that yet. And we have some cherries. Ooh, good. Let's drop those so we don't sell them on accident. Okay, so while I'm shaking trees, I'll just kind of tell you about what my thought process was. And it was similar to what I had kind of thought in 2022, like in January, is that we would take each day at a time and just see like where the island ends up if we're just going one day at a time with the island. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to play throughout the days and see where we end up at the end of the year. The plan is gonna be not to take shortcuts and just kind of play the game as the game is intended to be played. My goal is to play it day by day throughout the year to be able to decorate like on the different, um, we started October 1st, so we'll be able to do Halloween or actually I don't think it's called Halloween in, the game but we'll be able to do all like the different seasonal holidays and decorate for them which is something i wanted to be able to do and experience so i think this is a fun time of year to be able to start a new island so we'll just go around and finish picking up now that we shook all the trees and then we'll go sell some stuff but that yeah that is my plan is just to continue playing this game and have this island do as many things as we can just kind of see like what milestones we can accomplish what different items we're able to get that sort of thing all right, it looks like the island is all cleaned up. Let's just run along the beaches and see if we can find some shells to sell. And then we also need to get some um, nook miles by putting something up on the bulletin board. So as soon as we run along the beaches to gather the shells, we'll go up on the bulletin board then and see about doing something like that so we can get some nook miles that way. And really my only goal for today was just to clean up this little area and to do the different items that are going to give me nook miles so that I can pay off my tent and turn it into a house. So let's go to the bulletin board right here and um, we're gonna go ahead and read it. So there's a tape deck that we can do group exercise session, okay. And this will post important notices, sounds good. And then if we have villagers or visitors, I mean, we'll have them here on the bulletin board as well. So let's go ahead and create a post and we're just going to say, hi, we'll keep it very, oops, we'll keep it very simple because it takes me a minute to try and use these controls. And we'll go ahead and post that. So we'll get some Nook Miles for that. Let's go in and sell what we have collected. I'm offering a free DIY that can ha really help build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful. So I do hope you take me up on it. All right, so let's um, talk to Timmy. Okay, we're gonna sell him our weeds, our wasp nests, some of the, um, we're gonna sell all the shells, some of the fruit, we're gonna keep at least one thing of fruit. We'll keep that thing of fruit, we'll sell that. Okay, so that's all I wanna sell. Okay, $9,100 or bells, that sounds good. Now let's look at buying some stuff from him because we earn bells by selling, but we also earn bells by buying. Oh, we have a lawn chair, that's actually, I, I'll take that. We'll take the lawn chair and then we'll probably take that bucket too. Okay, I know we wanna buy um, some tree, well, at least one tree. We, oh, let's. Uh, let's see do we have a slingshot recipe we do so let's let's just buy one cedar tree and then let's see what flowers they have um we have white roses let's buy those and then we've got yellow cosmos which we already have yellow moms let's grab those and then we're gonna grab some medicine so that we can cure this eye of ours. Okay, let's check this recycle bin. Looks like there's just a cardboard box in there, so we're gonna leave that in there. And then let's check the ABD machine. So we get a little bit of Nook Miles for checking this. Let's go to the Nook Shopping. Let's see what there is. Portable radio, we already have that. An outdoor sink. We can get some music. I mean, we could, we can't get a pipe yet. We could get a large mushroom. We get some cute rain boots. Let's do that. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna buy from there. Now let's take that DIY workshop. Okay. So we're gonna make a fishing rod because that's what we I have the ability. So let's make, let's say three of them. Okay, we bought some stuff from Timmy and we actually, I did not buy a slingshot, which I should have bought the slingshot. Let's learn these DIYs real quick. So we're gonna fish a little bit to get some money so that we can go buy that slingshot. All right, let's see if we can find any fish. Oh, here's one. Let's see if we can get this little guy. I have a real hard time talking and fishing at the same time, so I might stop talking here in just a minute if I actually get close to getting this fish. Ooh, got him. All right, what did we get? 
Ooh, we got a seahorse, yay. And of course there's a balloon, but I don't have, well, it looks like it's too far back there anyway, but I do not have a um, slingshot. So you know what, let's get, let's get that butterfly. So if we could get like five fish and five um, bugs, I think that would be good. All right, what did we catch here? We got a horse mackerel. Okay, we got another fish. And what did we get here? Ooh, we got a dab. Let me go place these down because, oh, you know what we need to do? We need to, let's plant our flowers really quick. Let's find a spot back here that we can just make like as a flower field. And we're just gonna plant some flowers. Oh, that just makes me sick that I can't get that. We're just gonna do like a line of uh, let's do like every other one. All right, so we put down the flowers. Let's go ahead and plant the tree. Let's just find a spot right here. So we're gonna get miles for that. Okay, let's go take these into Tom Nook so we can get Blathers to come to our island. Oh, we donated all five of the items. So now Blathers is calling. Yay, so we accomplished that task and we're gonna be able to get Blathers to come to our island for tomorrow. So that's good. I still need to get a few more fish and insects in order to complete the Nook Miles for it. We should probably check our month miles. We should be pretty close to the 5,000 mark. So why don't we check that as soon as he gets off the phone with Blathers? All right, so let's check our nook miles and see where we're at. All right, we started off with 50. So Daisy Miles gives us another 500. Good job. Then Island Togetherness gives us another 300. Have a Nice DIY gives us another 300. Greedy Weeder, we are going to get two. We're gonna get a 300 Nook one, or Nook Mile one, and a 500 Nook Mile one. Then Flower Power, we're just gonna get the first one at 300. We're already almost halfway there. Pick of the Bunch, we're going to get the first one at 300. Then Island Shutterbug, we're getting that one is at 300. And that's because we took that picture of ourselves. The extra credit for doing the passport, we're getting for 300, or at 3,000. Oh, we. We have 1900 shop to it because we bought some items. We get 300. First time buyer, we get one for that. We get 300. Get some unwanted stuff or sell some unwanted stuff. So we're at 4,000. We only have less than a thousand to go. See if we can make it. So we got the first one here at 300, less than 500 or less than 600 to go. Another 300. Take the sting out because we passed out and then we use some medicine. Oh, we only need 50 more. Do we have one? Oh, we do. We have one more. Good. We got 500 there. And then we got the shady shakedown. So yeah, we earned like a lot of miles. So doing all those things that I've done on the island made it so that I can now pay off my fees and upgrade to a house. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and upgrade our house and we're going to we're upgrade our tent to a house. So we're gonna do that and ask him, we're gonna take out the loan, that's fine, not a problem. Okay, so we're gonna pick a yellow roof. Let's do a yellow roof. We upgraded to a house and we are going to have this nook mile. You know what, we didn't take the medicine. It just dawned on me that we did not take the medicine because I still have some issues. All right, so what are our nook mile plus? To spend bells to buy items to do a group stretch, to earn bells by selling items, to plant trees or shrubs, and to catch some bugs. So we got one for our moving fees being paid. All right, let's do a group stretch. Yes, let's stretch. So I actually could really use a stretch because I've been sitting here at this computer. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna stretch too. That actually felt really good after just sitting at the desk the whole time. So let's catch some bugs because we needed to catch, that was one of our Nook Mile Plus is to catch some bugs. And if we catch ones we need to donate, I'm just gonna place them so that I do not accidentally sell them. Well, darn, I missed that one. Got him. And while I'm doing this, I actually should place, um, I need to place the museum. So let's go down to the beach and place the museum too while we're catching the, okay, we got our five bugs that we needed to catch. Let's place the museum. Let's see what these, these were some red mums. Okay, so let's go in the back where we had our other mums. I think the mums were this one right here. Yeah, that looks right. We'll just kind of continue the same pattern that we were doing up there. So we'll plant all those. Oh, let's grab this because I don't think we have this one yet. Oh, yes we do. Okay. I don't think we have 5,000 to buy or to sell at this point. So we're not gonna be able to get that. And we already had bought the tree and I don't want to buy another tree. So I think that's gonna conclude today's gameplay. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me at Darling Games. And that concludes our day one, October 1st. Have a nice day. Bye. Mm -hmm.